Hello everyone, my name is Royce Electron, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, and... Oh, it's already Sunday, I freaking clicked on it, <laughs> accidentally. But anyways, uh, yes, uh, what do I, what, what was I supposed to do here? I think I was supposed to bi visit, no, I was not supposed to visit. Yuri is going to visit in my house. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Yes, it was written on the freaking... <laughs> screen and I was just not reading it but anyways uh I feel like I found many like spots in my other videos when I was editing them like uh there's so many things that I could have said <laughs> I don't know why but my brain just stops working when I'm just, like reading a lot of things like I don't I don't get to think about the jokes or the references that I could have said <laughs> while I was reading some things but anyways let's go get on with this video and not talk about other things I keep telling myself there's no reason to be ner nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. Okay. What about the in lieutenant? <laughs> there's no doubt that she'll open up a, a little bit when it's just the two of us. How do you mean open up? <laughs> Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first. But it wasn't long before I was already le learning more about her. Okay. But putting Yuri, Yuri aside, uh, I haven't heard anything from Sairi since she le left the club early the other day. Maybe she's just silent now. <laughs> Maybe she changed her personality. Maybe she, she decided that her, her, her airhead act is not worth it. So she's gonna be acting like her usual self. She's gonna be the... The, 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 how do you call this, the, the, uh, the serious and cool and calculative and, uh, I can't find the words that describe what I'm thinking about, like the, the sly person, yes, <laughs> it's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind, so, she's in your, in the back of your mind and you're worried about her being there? <laughs> Between what Sairi said and Monica said, and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sairi's feeling aside when she might need me? The video just suddenly stopped. There was nothing wrong and my camera just, you know, stopped working. Decided to do that, but anyways, <laughs> get on with the video. I decided to visit Sairi before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Ooh, that's a nice house. Sairi, you're kinda rich, aren't you? <laughs> Once I reach Sairi's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. So, it's like you're entering just your second house. Maybe because you were childhood friends and, you know, your parents know each other or something. <laughs> Again, we used to play so, oft so often that we made a bit, made it the habit of simply entering each other's house like, we're, like we were a family. Yes, as I was saying. The house is quiet. Ooh, maybe they left for vacation and they didn't. And uh, Sayuri didn't tell you they were in the beach, because you know, uh, Yuri and uh, Natsuki made her think about the beach. Is it? I don't know. Was it the time that Yuri and Natsuki made a poem about the beach? Was Sayuri still there, or was that the time she left? I don't know. Sayuri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange her of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. I don't like this black screen. <laughs> I feel like Sairi killed herself. Is that... Am I right? Because... Because I feel like uh, nothing... Nothing weird has happened yet in this game. Maybe... Maybe because I like did things that um, made it like I treat them all equally that she doesn't feel special anymore. Maybe, I don't know, but it's dark in here. Please, Sairi? Hi, Royce! Oh, she's still... <laughs> I was so freaking scared of this game. Ah, uh, I don't like those kinds of black screens. And, and then I finally found it. Found her. Found found what I've been looking for all this time. So those those kind of things, like, it always seems so, so mysterious. And it's. It, I feel like they're always going to show some dark shit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's get on. I sit down in her room. Obviously, where would you sit down? You, you sit down in the kitchen while she's in her room talking to you. Sorry for her smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Okay, there's a minute of silence between us. Did you count? 
<laughs> you haven't come. <coughs> I lost my voice for Sairi. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sairi's room is as messy as it's always been. Okay, I have some calendar. What are those? Why? What? I don't get that. Why is there like a blurred page and then a broken? Why is your calendar like that? Is that even a calendar? I don't know. Okay, I'm just looking around the room. <laughs> Anyways, I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decoration that she had for years now. So this thing? <laughs> uh, if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you every time. How how come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but she's coming over to my house, so I just wanted to visit you. I mean, my character wanted to visit you. Wait, how did you know that? Sayuri? You're, you're really putting on the, 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 the hints out there that you're spying on me. But they're on my phone. Through your window, but you don't have any telescope here. Maybe you hid it. Hid it in your attic. There's a hidden... There's a hidden door somewhere here that if you press just the right... If you put the right amount of force, it's gonna go and open and you'll see all her hacking device and her telescope and her uh, tapping device. Wiretap. Yes. She has it set up all over how our house because, you know, she can just enter whenever she wants and no one's gonna suspect anything ah sayuri you're you're secretly working for for the fbi aren't you <laughs> i was gonna make a freaking uh spy family joke but i didn't know what the freaking country was and i forgot what was it <laughs> but anyways sayuri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting yes monica told me it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the best festival prefer preparations, right? You and your excuses. You already find an escape route out of that? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to help me? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayuri stares in a random direction. How did you know it's random? <laughs> Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. Anyways, I finally get to the point. Wait, you were walking? <laughs> I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. Yes, you can run it from me, but you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. And you know me three well. <laughs> Why am I freaking just doing this every line? So... Sairi smiles, shaking her head. Like, <laughs> what is this, a horror game? I mean, it's probably a horror game. Uh, especially with the things that I said, like Monica glitching out and doing things. But that's about everything that I know about this, the weirdness of this game. Okay, anyways. That's no good, Royce! Eh? Why can't it be just like it's always been? It's all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this... It's just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being, being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. Yes, the world just ordered me. Royce, go to Sairi's house. That's that's all that is. <laughs> it just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sairi, I grab Sairi by the shoulders. Okay, what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Sarah gives me an empty smile. I mean, you can put something in it. <laughs> you're only really putting me in a trap, Royce. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. 
Like freaking Zoro? Like, nothing happened. <laughs> I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? My true self. Yes, I've always been like this. I am. <laughs> what are you talking about, Sairi? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Royce? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? You're making an excuse right now because you're... You're, 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 you're late to school every day because you sleep late. Blah, blah, because you sleep late from watching me. Okay. Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's what I just want. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. Wait, did you just, just get... Electrified! <laughs> Can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sairi keeps this from me and the entire time that I've known her? Wait, did you really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sairi? Eh? Why is that? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done something I Everything I could do support you. I freaking can't read again. <laughs> Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Royce. Why do you, why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing some important things freaking i added something to that i don't want to be cared about why i mean you're gonna die anyways <laughs> why care about something you shouldn't care about like who cares <laughs> care bears freaking <laughs> uh it's bittersweet when people try to care about me it feels nice sometimes but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I've discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone else in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So, that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every bad leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. And I, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Royce. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. <laughs> I can't get my pitch high, voice high enough. Like how I did. I don't know. Is it the same? Is it still still the same? <laughs> but I was selfish. Yes, like that. I finally showed you what that horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you do join the literature club because I was selfish. And... I was punished by my heart turning in a way that I couldn't understand. And now, you came here and I made you hurt too. Okay. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Okay. The freaking game is lagging a little bit. I don't know, but when I'm clicking, it doesn't click immediately. 
Without thinking, I once again grab Sairi's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Okay. Go. Cool. Ah, ah! Royce! Sayuri. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just the bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Royce! Sayuri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayuri's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please, don't do this. Royce, I... Sayuri barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't think I know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. Yes, okay. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. Feelings, feelings, go away, don't come again in the future. <laughs> and if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better, better tell me. I'm gonna be your slave. That's, that's, that's her whole plot this whole time. Make me feel bad. Make me do everything she tells me to do. That's all Sayuri plans. What if, what if everything that I was saying was just, you know, completely false or untrue or it wouldn't happen? Because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to predict the game that everything here is dark. Everything here has a, a has an ulterior motive or a, a more darker side thing. So, what if the Sayuri is just literally just uh, n normal person like it, it, she's not what I, I'm making her out to be <laughs> in my head but <laughs> anyways I'll get mad if you don't I don't know I don't know I don't know gently Sayuri finally puts her arms around me in return I don't know I don't know anything it's all really scary I don't understand any of my feelings boys the only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Because you're... you're... what? What did you say? Uh... So... That means when I hugged her, she's getting hurt. She's feeling pain. That's why she felt something. Because she doesn't feel anything unless it's pain. Right? <laughs> Sayuri lets me go. Let me go! <laughs> as, as she does so, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> uh. It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayuri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Yeah. Who decided that, right? Who decided to go to one place when you have plans, right? 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 Or left? Maybe. Maybe I should cancel. No. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. Uh, even house, I can't read. <laughs> at the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sh Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. Uh, so I understand it. 75%. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about that. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I'll left. <laughs> I look forward to it. Bye bye, Sayuri. Time for me to go home. Is this our, my house? I mean, my. <laughs> but my character's parents, parents probably, not my character or me. <laughs> I said goodbye 
I say goodbye to Sairi and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Sayo is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Okay. Oh! As I approach my house, I hear something that makes me feel a moment of, of panic. It's the same house as Sayori's. Do you not have any other house? Or is that my house and this is Sayori's? Or this is my house and that's Sayori's? I don't know. Freaking hell. Why is this the same image? Y Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. <laughs> I just remember every freaking scene in anime that I've watched. Like, the, 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 the times like people, like characters go on a date and then they ask the same questions. Were you waiting a long time? No, I just got here. That's, 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 that, that, that's like a freaking hi. Hello, how are you? That's, the, that's, that's how it goes. Like, it's, it's just, uh, it's, a uh, uh, how do you say this? It's, a built-in response, response. Yes, response. Freaking hell. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You mean the gate bell? <laughs> you always could have texted me. If I had known, I would, I would have re reassured you and heard more on my way home. Ah. Uh. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Should be common sense to do that, but I decided to go to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Oh, so it's a different room. I was expecting to be... <laughs> the same room as Cyrus, but obviously it's not gonna be the same because that's a girl's room and my room is different. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. I thought you said you never read, read a book, right? Or like you read a horror book once. Why do you have like freaking... I don't know. How many books are these? Probably around 80 to 100. And you said you never read a book. Or are these freaking games? No, it's impossible. These looks like books. <laughs> it's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... What? How did... I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, uh, I don't think that's good. That would be even more embarrassing. Yes. <laughs> Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was co in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if, lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. <laughs> so, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, blue lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. It sounds like you're not preparing for a p festival at all. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guest to a faraway place. So did you make, like, burn... Oh, uh, no. Did you prepare some, you know, some kind of plans to do that as well? <laughs> I don't know. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. 
Is, is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah. Like, what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some, some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I know nothing about what that word is. <laughs> aromatherapy. Sounds like a therapy that uses smell. Like candles, pretty much. Yes. <laughs> so what is that wood thing you, you, you have? Is that a freaking mixer? Probably a burner? I don't know. Not familiar at all. Or maybe it's a place where you put your candles in. Is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. Wait, no, I didn't mean to click save. I could have freaking pressed load there and loaded a, another save and just, you know, ditched all of this. But I mean, I haven't really made any choice yet, so. You can even feel it permeate through your body relaxation positive energy romance reflection uh, it's almost like magic Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom in just a moment a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout through a small hole on the top yeah wow that smells wonderful what kind of mood is that one for this is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion without with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. So, what are we going to do now? Uh, I thought decoration making is just, you know, cutting paper, sticking them together with tape or glue, and putting in uh, some strings, and, you know, cutting, uh, staplering, and stapling. Is that the word? <laughs> Staplering. <laughs> Stapling and, you know, uh, punching, you know, punching holes in the papers and, you know, freaking doing printing, coloring, whatever, drawing. I thought that would be what we were doing, but no. She decided it's going to be uh, just blocking light from the windows and putting some candles. That's it. <laughs> she again, oh no, I didn't read that yet. She again reaches her into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. Okay, what are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. What? What? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon, ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, so like those freaking, I don't know. Uh, what are those places like where people like, you know, have this crystal ball or, you know, the tarot cards? Like, what is that called again? Like, uh... Fortune-telling places with, the, you know, the freaking fancy curtain entrance doors. Doorway? No, it's not door, it's a door frame with freaking designs or curtains or whatever. Those freaking beads, papers, whatever you put on them. Maybe just, I don't know, animal 
body parts, freaking bones. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's probably one of those that she's thinking about. <laughs> it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some people. Some. It may attract some to pick inside. That's really creative. We had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I took it a little intense, as you'd put it. <sighs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Royce. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once you finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, Alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket... Don't kill me! No, you're... <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> The knife is strangely beautiful, oh. Let me ask you something. For people who have already watched or played or completed or seen what Yuri is going to be in the future, is she gonna use that knife to kill me? Or kill someone? <laughs> I'm predicting it. Because you know, knives. Why do you have a knife? Why not scissors or a cutter? Not a freaking knife. That's strangely beautiful. It's probably something you use to like give assassins or murderers <laughs> for them <laughs> to kill people. <laughs> you know, you have beautiful knives, like beautiful swords, like you, you have designs or like things on them that makes them like unique and yours and like. And if someone no if if someone sees it, it they they know it's yours. Like you know those kinds of things. <laughs> I don't know. How do you say? How do you tell if a knife is beautiful? Anyways, the silver hat. I mean, he's about to tell me what <laughs> what it looks like. So okay, the silver handle is has an intricate pattern of waves etched onto it. Okay. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. Oh, blue. Okay, I like blue. <laughs> That's no ordinary pocket knife. What is that? Go. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. Uh, I use these to kill cats outside when, when they try to, you know, uh, scratch me when I pet them. If they don't let me pet them, I stab them with this. Yes, uh, it's a little bit color blue because cat's blood are blue. You thought it was red? No, it's blue. I have experience of killing thousands of cats. Yes, and you're gonna have to believe me or this is gonna start to turn purple. Like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yes, definitely. With what I just said. <laughs> Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. I mean, weirded out is different from being scared and being careful or wary. I mean, yes, I can promise not being weirded out. Because, you know, anyways. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. Is this a foreshadowing of Yuri being a secret assassin? Is this it? Is that, am I predicting the future? Am I predicting Doki Doki Literature Club perfectly? Like Sayuri and Monica and Yuri. I mean, Natsuki, I don't really know what Natsuki... I don't really find anything suspicious about Natsuki. I don't know. What is suspicious about Natsuki? Nothing. I can't think of anything right now, but Monica, I think she 
she's a in, she's an inter inter extra whatever dimensional being that can see uh past her own reality that's monica because you know the the poem she made sounds like freaking pretty i don't know ah uh, how do you say this like they're they're kind of like uh like uh how do you say this like they 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 i feel like they they're like observations of people or like Creatures who are like, you know, aware of existence outside of their reality like, you know, the the like the peeking through the hole But she was looking inside that but uh, no, she was looking outside or something and then the other thing is What was the other thing that she wrote? I already forgot. I think that the the the, the one where like the one who the girl the woman the female the mother or whatever I forgot like, it's a woman that knows all the answers or something, right? So, I feel like she's into, like, uh... Into, like, uh... How do you say this? The existential uh, side of things. And Sayuri, I'm suspecting she's... She's into the... She is, like, in the spy kind of side of things. She's in the, you know, I'm a... I'm a, uh, I'm a watch over you. I know everything you do. I know everything you say. Like that type. That's, that's, that's Sayuri. And Yuri, she, she likes dark things. She's probably a murderer. She's probably an assassin. She's probably a hitman. She likes knives. She might kill me. But, but Natsuki, she's just manga. Oh, cute things. Oh, cupcakes. Oh. I'm, I I the people think I'm cute. Oh, maybe she's actually actually uh I don't know. I I was trying to think of something, but like uh she's trying to just uh make people understand that she's not cute, but I don't I don't I wouldn't know the purpose of that. But anyways, enough rambling. I've been rambling for like 5 minutes. I I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship Craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> you're, you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. How do you say suits you? Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? She really relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. I mean, where would you find a, a liquid or gas? Knife. <laughs> Where do you even get a knife like this? Maybe she's a, from a family of blacksmith or... How do you call uh, people who make knives? Is it still blacksmith? I don't know. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger and I got cut. Ow! Yes. Royce! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's... it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. How do you know? <laughs> oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Maybe she's a vampire and she's gonna lick it. Yuri takes my hand and gives, gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and notice noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I know <laughs> it out. Uh, all these anime, Japanese, whatever type story. There's always some character like this. Maybe she's the the I don't know Yandere character. You know the one who will kill anyone just to be with you. Maybe that's Sayori. Maybe it's her. Maybe it's everyone. Maybe you are a Yandere. Yandere, Yandere, arriva, arriva! 
<laughs> I've, I've went to another cartoon now. <laughs> I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Curl. <laughs> I startled. I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it, it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. No, she's not overreacting. That's just the proper reaction when you take someone's hand and put them in your mouth like it's nothing. <laughs> she doesn't lift her head. I mean, how do you lift your head? Like, freaking... <laughs> what if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. You lick her finger. Is that what you'll do? <laughs> ah, no, why is this so predictable? I make Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Royce! Th did you really just do that? Now we're even. Uh, Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Royce. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri, you're calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I'm trying to think, is there a creature <laughs> that if they lick a wound, it would stop bleeding? <laughs> I'm thinking of every possible thing that Yuri could be right now. She could be some kind of weird creature or it's just, you know, just a really small wound and it's not a big deal. You guys, you know, there's a thing. I think there's, I heard something from the internet, obviously, where, where, where else would I hear anything? <laughs> that the mouth, the inside of our mouth has like faster healing properties than the outside of our bodies, like or other parts of our bodies like I don't know I don't even know if that's true but I think I think it has to do with the amount of bacteria that it's exposed to that it's like you know used to re regenerating that fast because of all the dirt whatever is in your mouth I mean you all you have ba bacteria germs microorganisms everywhere around your body but I think it's like more concentrated inside your, inside your mouth so I think maybe that's why, and if you like put some of those, maybe it la acts like a little bit of like, it's like a vaccine maybe, it acts like that. So maybe many people like, uh, you know, sip or like put the wound in their mouth and sip the blood or something. I don't know, I'm not a scientist or whatever, and that's just my thinking, like you know, if you put things there, it would react and that how it would react would probably solve the, the problem better than if it, you just let it be let it be let it be so maybe that's it <laughs> I see yes you have two eyes that's relieving the tension is quickly lifted we each resume to our respective activities but Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air he has the pro professional knife user a s knife's man Knivesman. <laughs> Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Okay, I've been freaking talking on a bunch and I don't think I'll be able to finish this as the same length as the other videos because I've been, I don't know, doing things outside the game. <laughs> Saying things outside the game for a long time. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we we'll lay them out all side by side. I mean, I just switched the two words. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah. Let's do it. I feel like I always burp when I do this. When I'm doing their voice. 
like a high-pitched voice. It's like I'm forcing the air out of my stomach. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri has asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water? I'll be right back in a minute. Yuri, don't go snooping around my room or else you'll find... The secret, sacred sword that will stab you in a minute because I don't want my room to be more messier than this. Thank you very much. Oh, just a little bit of water is okay. I mean, I'm bringing six cups. You can probably drink. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you're not gonna drink. <laughs> not much water. Six cups. What? If you... If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Six cups is a measurement. You're saying... I should get six cups of water, but not six, six cups. A little less than six cups. Is that it? <laughs> Freaking hell. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-sized glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and bring it back into my room. What? Any paint that drips, then bring it back into my... Why did you not just bring the water so you don't have to splash paint all over your house? You're not playing Splatoon! Anyways, Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? I don't have any air conditioner. <laughs> You liar! And I am a liar too! My character! She didn't put her sleeve over her arm! She didn't do it! It's still over here! Over here! I mean, the artist probably didn't have enough time or just didn't want to make the drawing of her doing that. But anyways... There's nothing wrong, so... Let... Let's mix up the paint. Let's mix the paint. <laughs> Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets dropping them into the cups so that's what she that's what you did what i told what i just said bring just the water why did you say that uh carefully you carefully yes uh my play to catch any paint that drips paint you're just bringing water what is this so mistranslation maybe i don't know i thought we could we would do something simple that would look very nice I'd like to paint the gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it tries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium in the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Okay. Use a brush. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. Oh. Okay. This kind of remind. This kind of reminds me of my elementary school. Of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels like a lot. Feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. <laughs> Why is it childish? No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I, only, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend my time with one uh. other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't matter if you don't talk much. Just 
Having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I feel like I didn't read that sentence properly. <laughs> I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I qui are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Uh, okay. Kyah! S sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? N no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Uh, your face. There are droplets on, of paint on Yuri's face and cheek. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. Did you just boil the water and, you know, put boiling water in your foot and put it in her face? Boom! It's black! And freaking her face starts to burn and she is, she is gonna be literally having a red face. Red from burns! You're probably gonna be <laughs> freaking, I don't know, punch kicked or whatever the next day when they, when your all your club mates and classmates and schoolmates and their parents her parents hear about what you just <laughs> freaking boiling water on the towel and the <laughs> I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her uh, okay here I, I'll wipe it for you like you don't have any hands and you're disabled but I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel these kinds of scenarios are unrealistic. Real life, you would just give her the towel, or your mate, you'll you'll give her the towel, and she's gonna go and do it herself. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. And I gotta sneeze. Uh. No, I don't have to sneeze anymore. <laughs> it's gone. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. Where's the paint though? <laughs> but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little lo longer. It feels really nice. Ah. Uh, keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. Like this. <laughs> she looks into my eyes. It's an, inst it's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her book. Almost at, as if she's lost in the days, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. lips. I can't read. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Oh no! I, I accidentally put the wrong, wrong oil. I, it's a... Then, uh, it's those kind of aroma candles. Yes, those kinds. Yes, I I put it mistakenly. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> I don't know. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And it suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. Uh, it's fine. Anyways, the moment is over as soon as I began. So like, you just touch your neck. Done. <laughs> Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the reluct the event that just transpired. Where did that reluct shit? come from I don't know my brain's starting to put words into my eyes maybe it's my glasses maybe it's a secret spy glasses that Sayori made <laughs> I'm freaking doing things for no I'm saying things that applies to in game to real life like someone's doing this they're putting words in my glasses 
There's why I was probably in this. I should break this. No, I wouldn't break it. That costs a lot for me. <laughs> I hesitantly, I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Okay, that should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that looks like stars. You just, you know, do that with the brush with a little bit of paint. That's what the, everyone does. Like, I don't know. I haven't really done that kind of painting. Maybe because I'm not painting. And I don't have any paint. And I don't have any canvas or don't have anything to paint on. Yes. I'll take that as uh, an excuse. <laughs> looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty natural and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. Needs to dry first. Yeah, obviously. That's true. But will that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here. Then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. I thought, why don't you just do... Bring it home. Yes. Why? Why is that the thing that I had to think about? Why Why don't you just bring it home, let it dry, and then you bring it in the morning? Because I might go late. Don't trust myself. <laughs> Even in real life, that's what I would do. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. <sighs> <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad it, that we managed to get everything done. I see. Why is it always that I see? I see. Yes, you have two eyes. We can all see. <laughs> I am. Uh... I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, uh, so you don't have any time left? Hello? <laughs> I was secretly hoping we'd have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself, uh, well, she's just probably thinking nothing, making an excuse. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. So Sorry for being such a slow worker. Worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all their things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. Sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in the relaxed environment. What is that? I don't know what that is. Spending time with friends in a relaxed environment? I don't know what that is. Can you tell me what that is? <laughs> but that doesn't make... That, but that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out of the front door. I walk her out the front door. Thank you very, very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of said that. Say that without. I kind of said that without thinking. Yes. <laughs> well, today, it's fine that we didn't have as much as time. No, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever we want, you can come come over, or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. Okay, as I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Bashfully? Like... <laughs> started bashing her face? Anyway... <laughs> that was what I was about to say too. Anyways, let's get back to the game. But she said... Anyways, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Royce. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Music?
Hello? Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayuri? Eh? Uh, uh, hi, Royce. Uh, no, it's it's not that. Hi, Royce. Uh, hi, Royce. Sayuri. Just now, we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Royce. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aww, really? This is too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course. Sairi beams like radical B. <laughs> She's definitely a spy, whatever. <laughs> She's a robot. Y yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed. Yuri hurries off. She, she glides through the screen from right to left. Sayuri waves goodbye after her. Sayuri, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? Wait! What did, she do? what did she just say? My imagination. I thought it was dream. I thought she had foresight dream or spying dream or omniscience dream. <laughs> I was I was debating on which it is, like omniscience or omnipotent omnipresence. But omnipresence wouldn't really show you everything, right? Or would it? I mean, it's kind of the same thing, probably, in this sense, like, she knows everything that happened. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri? And how close you got to her? It makes me really happy! You're a liar! That you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tear starts to fall down Sayuri's face. Maybe it's... Tears of joy, but that's also the tears that she had when when she was crying sadly. And those eyebrows? Uh -huh. <laughs> how the fuck? How do I do that? How do I? How do I make this go up? How do you do that? Uh, how do you do this kind of freaking eyebrow? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's all. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Royce? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Because I just broke it. With my interdimensional uh, durability negation attack. Heart strike. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is an anime style uh, game after all. It doesn't uh, feel unnatural for me to have those, like, freaking attacks. <laughs> Weird things. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Then she disappears. Like, everything she wishes for happens. Sayuri, don't say that. It's true, Royce. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica! What did you say to Sire? Did you say she just moved to another country? Please don't say that you, you should just kill yourself. <laughs> is, that, is that Monica? Is Monica that evil person like... <laughs> kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill everyone. Is she, is she that person? I mean, I don't exactly remember. My camera just freaking... Hello? <laughs> just stay there for a freaking a bit like me, like this. Uh, I don't exactly remember what Monica said when I saw that clip of her like glitching out or something. But she might be evil. <laughs> she might be evil or she is evil. <laughs> 
Monica? Monica was right about what? Oh, you're not saying anything, Sayuri. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. What if I traded you? Freaking hell. <laughs> the light! The light just fell down! And the light was coming to me. It's a ring light with no stand. It's above my computer, my system unit. Yes, that way it's, it slid down. I moved a bit, probably. I don't know, or it's just like, you know, just slowly but surely sliding down. And then it finally, finally snapped. But what I was saying, you wouldn't trade it for anything else. What if I just traded you? Six emeralds. <laughs> Anyways, I was gonna make that joke when suddenly that freaking shit had light. <laughs> it just started to fall. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, if I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but. Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder just to re reassure her. I'm scared, Royce. I'm really scared. Why? Is Monica's gonna kill you? Monica's gonna kill you? <laughs> what are you scared of, Sayuri? Monica. I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayuri? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Royce, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sairi. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Slide my hand down Sairi's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Don't you rem Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? You still believe me? Wordlessly, Sairi nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings... I know that you need the be I I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. A hug. Sayuri. Now I'm faced with a decision that I don't think I'll be able to reverse. So first, let us save. Let us save. Yes. So, what am I going to decide to this? Hmm, let me think. Am I going to assume that Sairi is playing a, a character right now? Or am I going to assume that this is the real Sairi? Wow, look at that. My hand here is uh, much more redder than this one. What if I do this? Yes. <laughs> I thought it's just a freaking weird hands, but no. Same thing happens, but... Hmm. As I have been as uh, uh, suspecting that... Sayuri might be putting on an act, so I'll just go with you'll be you'll always be my dearest friend I know this could be the right answer if I wanted to but for the sake of playing it is safe Because I like Yuri more anyways <laughs> Me personally, uh, I feel like I'm more interested in her even though She's probably gonna kill me because all of her knife addiction Probably, but you know what? Don't care. I'm going to go with this. You're gonna have to deal with it if you're watching this. If no one's watching this, no one's gonna have to deal with it. Yay! Win win for everyone, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, you always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. I mean, yes, Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But, please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Sayuri forces, forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Yes, I know, that wasn't the answer that she expected. But, as the answer I gave her, because I'm assuming. Yes, this is all, all for assumption. With all the clues she's given me, I'm assuming she's she's plotting something, she's playing a character, she's evil, she's 
she's manipul manipulative. She's an actress. Especially with the rib. No. I'm not gonna talk about the ribbon. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, is this what it feels like to get stuck in the chest? Oh, I just freaking couldn't do that sentence perfectly. My voice! I should write a poem about this. Sorry. You're thinking about the Doki Doki Literature Club. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I know this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right. That I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me a lot better than anyone, Royce. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her, to her knees. I don't know how to do that, but there's small letters there. Clutch her, clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. If I did that, I'm gonna be disturbing my neighbors. Even when I just did ah! <laughs> scream. I don't think that that really did it, but I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Okay. Ah, oh, got it out of my chest. A good scream can probably... Uh, relieve all your stress and anger and uh, uh, pr frustration away. Yes, Sayuri looks over her shoulder and flash me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayuri! I'm left helplessly standing by, standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I, that I could have done. There was something more that, that you could have done. Could have. But I wanted to do the other thing. <laughs> the most I can do is support Sairi through, through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sairi's feeling as she is. Even though I can com comfort her, comfort her, yes, comfort is different. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Yes, I know I read that sen other sentence incorrectly. Sarah will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. Okay, finally. I've reached the end of the Sunday. Uh, anyways, uh, things are getting interesting more and more interesting every episode that's always what i say but <laughs> now i know that sayuri likes me or she's acting that she likes me maybe it's re uh, maybe it's real maybe it's not I mean nothing is true everything is <laughs> you could only suspect that's what malik said but yes <laughs> uh i feel like i should be better off like Going with what I have already done, maybe, like, I've already picked Yuri for, like, uh, I've, I've, for the poems, I've picked all of them equally, three of them. I mean, Monica, I can't really choose. But, uh, on the second thing that I had to choose is Natsuki and Yuri, and I already picked Yuri, so I'm just gonna go and stick with Yuri if I'm going to do something. I'm gonna stick with Yuri, and if that fails, I'm gonna go with Sayuri. Natsuki, probably. Yeah, she's gonna be third. I mean, that's the only choice I have. But Monica comes first, always. Because I feel like Monica is the main character of this Doki Doki Literature Club game. When she's like the f main heroine, if that's what you want to call it. For your weeds, whatever out there. <laughs> so, if I can choose Monica, Monica, then I go Yuri, Sayuri, then Natsuki. It's not because I like Monica, it's just because I think she's the main focus of the game. And Yuri is because I'm... She's the one that I'm interested... I like the most, the character, yes. Then, 
Sorry, just because I don't know. She she only likes my character, or the main character, not me exactly, or a character I made. But then lastly, Natsuki. But because I don't know, I'm I'm really like not into like uh her story yet. I don't really know her that much, and except that she doesn't want people to think she's cute, and that she 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 likes manga and anime, and whatever and games and cute things. But she doesn't want it, want to admit it. But anyways, that's it for this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, are you enjoying things? Probably not. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up button as hard as you can. Let's comment down below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Electrify. Electrify with you.